Tyson Fury felt betrayed by Mike Tyson since he's been training Francis Ngannou for their upcoming fight, but Mike gave a brutal response to Tyson. Tyson Fury's very upset about the fact that Mike is helping Francis and he thinks that it's kind of sad. Tyson stated, I think that it's sad actually. The man that I'm named after, a legend, has to go against me for one and then come out as a loser for two, having lost to a man he was named after. I think it's sad and I think he should be in my corner, not the losing corner. But business is business and I understand that it's strictly business. No matter what he teaches this fella, no matter how much boxing training he does or whatever, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. I'm not sure who said that but I know that's true. They've all got plans until they get smacked in the mouth. Tyson thinks that his own skills will definitely be enough to handle whatever Mike teaches Francis though. Tyson stated, Mike Tyson is a great guy. He's a living legend in sport. He's a living legend in boxing. He's got a lot of knowledge on boxing. I think he'll teach Francis a lot, but I don't think it would matter who trained Ngannou for this fight. He's got to fight Tyson Fury and I'm not an easy opponent for anybody no matter who's training you. So yeah, everyone's got a plan until they get punched in the face. That's exactly what's going to happen to Ngannou when I fight him. He's going to have this big plan and then he's going to get punched in the face and then it's going to go all out the window. Francis Ngannou isn't underestimating Tyson though. Because Tyson Fury is a big, is a monster. I stand next to him I'm like... Damn, this guy is big. You gotta be tall, right? <laughs> big one. I'm like, you really need to go full force. And then I was there at the press conference next to him. And I'm like, yes, look my fat belly. I'm, I'm a fat pig. I'm this. I'm like, don't you fool me. Yeah. I have seen you. <laughs> yeah. He like, tricks people with that yeah. belly. I'm like, don't you fool me. Don't you trick me, Tyson. <laughs> I have seen you box. And you doesn't box as a fat anything at all <laughs> if you just focus in, on his body and then you'll be like oh i think e easy job no right. man when yeah. the guy's in the ring moving you i'm like no don't you fool me tyson isn't underestimating francis either and he thinks that francis is more dangerous than alexander usik was tyson stated a lot of people are on about this undisputed fight fantastic but i have a much more dangerous person to deal with next saturday than i do for the undisputed fight i believe because Francis is a bigger man, stronger, more powerful, and has knockout capability. As we've seen with Alexander Yusik, he doesn't really do much damage to people he hits, so you could probably let Yusik punch you all about the head and he'll give you a black eye. If you let Nganu punch you all about the head, he's probably gonna rattle your brain for you. Dan Hardy is interested to see what Francis brings to the ring after training with Mike Tyson. Dan stated, It's going to be very interesting to see what Francis can add to his game, especially with Mike Tyson working with him. I'm hoping that Mike Tyson is going to work some of that peekaboo style, and he's also going to encourage him to work the body a little bit, because the drawback of a power puncher is that they tend to hunt for the head, and Tyson Fury is tall, and he's very, very good at slipping away and countering with uppercuts. It's going to be an incredibly tough test for Francis. You can't say the man is afraid of taking risks because this is probably the biggest risk he's taking in boxing right now. Amir Khan thinks that this will be an interesting fight, but he only sees it going one way in the end. Amir stated, His size, if Fury leaves himself open, he leaves himself open a lot. He might get caught with a looping right-hander. With MMA fighters, they're going to throw punches from all different angles. Ngannou is going to jump at this opportunity because he's fighting the world heavyweight champion in Fury. But realistically, Fury is going to win because he's the boxer, but Ngannou's got the puncher's chance in this fight. Jake Paul has first-hand experience with the MMA fighter crossover events and he thinks that this one will be entertaining. Jake stated, I've fought all these MMA fighters and none of them have been able to do anything against me. Tyson is going to bring the smoke, but Francis has that one punch knockout power, so we'll see if he can land on Tyson. It's going to be a good fight and I'm excited for it. Michael Bisping doesn't want to disrespect Francis, but he doesn't see this going well for him. Tyson Fury versus Engano. Engano's gonna get battered. That's no disrespect to Engano. Engano's incredible. As a UFC fight, he was very good. Yeah. But he can't box with yeah. Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a phenomenal boxer. He's six foot nine, he's fast, he's faint, his technique, everything's brilliant. Mm. Tyson Fury isn't worried about Francis even after more training footage went viral. Tyson stated, Pads don't hit back. 
Tongpo said years ago, pad not hit back. And it's true, I've seen many people flashy on the pads. Pads don't even mean anything. Going on a pad has been only since about 30 years ago. Before that, it wasn't even a thing. So I don't take too much into it. He's come in, he's big and strong in game. He's got a lot to prove. I take him 100% seriously. No matter who I'm fighting next Saturday, I couldn't have trained any harder anyway. Tyson did admit that he made this camp longer than the one he did to face Deontay Wilder because of Francis' inexperience in the sport. Tyson stated, This is why I'm putting in a 12-week training camp instead of a 6-week camp, which I usually do for like Wilder or um White or Chisora. I usually do 6 weeks. I'm giving Francis 100% focus, and because he's not a boxer and he's coming from a different background, then I have to prepare more. Because with normal boxers, I can prepare gestures. It's going to come from the same angle, but with his awkward style, it might come from different directions, so I have to be prepared for that. And that's why I'm training as hard as I can, giving it 100% respect. Tyson showed up for the fight presser in great spirits as well. Tyson might have put Francis over Usyk in terms of power, but Usyk definitely sees this fight going in Tyson's favor. Usyk stated, This bout is bread and butter for Tyson Fury. This is my attitude with regards to boxing. And when someone's saying that Nganu can drop him, I probably would agree, but I'm really not certain. Tell me how could a guy with no experience in boxing beat a giant who's been in boxing for 20 years? Yes, Nganu is a UFC champion, I'm not disputing it. But the UFC isn't boxing. I'm 100% sure that Tyson Fury will be victorious. If Nganu relatively has a puncher's chance, and if he hypothetically happens to send Fury tumbling to the canvas, I'll concede talking gibberish. Yes, I'm going to be there. I would like to see the bout. The promotion is impressive. Mike Tyson definitely sees Francis having a chance to finish Tyson Fury in the ring. Mike stated, I'm helping Nganu. I'm learning what he's able to do. He's able to do so much more than I anticipated. He has what it takes to knock out anything or anybody standing in his way. Once he lands a punch on Tyson Fury's jaw, he's going to knock him out too. Nobody can survive that. Better yet, he sees this as potentially the biggest upset in heavyweight boxing. Mike stated, it would be the biggest upset in the history of entertainment. No way, we're different people, we have different styles. He's going to box like Francis, he's going to do well. It's not for everybody, it's great for me, but for most people, it won't work for them. Listen, you're going to see he's been constantly improving, and I'm very proud of him for taking this whole ordeal in perspective. He's fighting the greatest fighter in the last, maybe greatest fighter ever. I'm looking forward to that, and I'm so proud of him for taking this step and doing the impossible, so to speak. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.